Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ms. Professor Bridges, you, in your testimony, talked about the prevalence of abortion, um, the percentage of black babies that are uh, aborted as opposed to non-black babies. I think you said uh, three or four times more black babies than non-black babies are aborted. Um, you also talk about systemic racism. Do you see any systemic racism associated with the prevalence of abortion for black babies as opposed to non-black babies? Um, absolutely. Um, the higher rates of unintended pregnancy that lead to higher abortion rates among black people um, is a result of structural racism, systemic racism. Um, I understand systemic racism not to be boogeymen who are trying to uh, dupe black people into abortion care. I understand structural racism to be the systems that have made it so that black people disproportionately bear the burdens of poverty in this country, um, the systems that have denied them the basics that they need in order to, to live humane lives like food, clothing, shelter, health care, so you believe system that, you be that responds you with the criminal You believe there system? ought to be more black babies aborted, is that right? I believe that, that we ought to create the conditions under which people can leave li lead lives that are filled with dignity and humanity. And that to means your, being to able your way to of thinking, that happens when more black babies are aborted? I believe, I trust... I love black people with the capacity for pregnancy. I think they have agency, they have intelligence, they know what is best for themselves, and I would love to create the conditions under which they can live lives that are filled with dignity and humanity. And do you think a, do you think a, a baby that is delivered alive has value? Yes. Do you think that a, um, a, a baby that is not yet born has value? I believe that a person with a capacity for pregnancy has value. They have intelligence. They have agency. They no, have I'm dignity. talking about the baby. And I'm talking about the person with a capacity for I'm, pregnancy. You're not answering the question. I'm asking. I'm, you I'm, think answer, that a, I'm answering you, a more interesting you think question that, to you me. You think that a baby that is not yet born, let's say the day before this mother delivers, do you think that baby has value? I think that the person with a capacity for pregnancy has value, and they, have the, they should have the ability to control what happens to their lives. Well, and, and I just note you refuse to answer the question. Professor Bridges, you said several times, you've used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. Would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important Because of my line of questioning? Because so we can't talk about it? Because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist I'm is denying dangerous. that trans people exist by asking Are you? you if you're talking Are you? about women Are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that there, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think women can <laughs> so get pregnant. So you're denying that trans people exist? Thank and that leads to violence? Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you? Absolutely. Or are they also treated like this? Where no, you, no, no, they're, they're told that to they're at opening up people to oh, violence We have a good time questioning. in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow, I, I would learn a lot. I've learned a you, lot just in this exchange. Absolutely. Extraordinary. Yep. Um, if you see something, say something.